Sorry, honey. I've taken a wonderful fiancé. Are you upset that I'm happy? Jealous. Haha. <laughs> Why do those people who can only look down on others end up with such hideous faces? As if her once cute face was a lie, my sister's face in front of me looked distorted. She looks down on not just me, but my husband as well. My anger reached a peak and exceeded the limits of my patience. My name is Amy. I'm 27 and I work at a printing company. Though it's a printing company, I'm not operating heavy machinery. I'm in the design department. We design flyers and catalogs for various businesses, creating designs based on our clients' needs. Even though the demand for printed materials has decreased due to digitalization, designing is still a busy and rewarding job. I'm thankful that I have clients who request my services. When I get compliments like, The flyer for the Christmas event was adorable and very well received. It genuinely makes me happy. This job could be called my life's work. I might stay single and focused on work for my whole life. One day, I was thinking about that. My father was hospitalized with appendicitis. The young doctor who greeted me with, Hello, are you here to visit someone today? When I went to see my father, that was David, who is now my boyfriend and recently became my fiancé. You never know where or when you'll encounter someone that can change your life. Even though I say nothing's more important than a job, I buy marriage information magazines as soon as the topic of marriage comes up. I guess I'm more excited about this than I thought. I flipped through magazines while having tea in the living room of the house. That's when it happened. A sudden snatch. My magazine was taken. Hey! What's this? A bridal magazine? Why are you looking at something like this? It's none of your business, Sarah. The person who abruptly took the magazine from me was my younger sister by two years, Sarah. You're thinking about marriage? You should look at yourself first. You should know your place. You're thinking about marriage when you don't even have a boyfriend. In contrast, I've never been without a boyfriend. Speaking of which, my current boyfriend is... And so, my sister began boasting about her boyfriend, without anyone asking. My sister has always been like this. Unlike my plain face, she's very cute. She's always been popular. Everyone around her spoils her. Besides our parents and me, everyone around my sister has always agreed with whatever she said. As a result, she began to think of herself as the center of the world. My younger sister, who grew up arrogant, began to look down on me at some point. Don't come near me. I don't want your face reflecting off mine. Even if you study with that brain, you won't get good grades. Why don't you stop trying? Ah, I got another confession from a guy. It's so tough being this popular. I'm sure you feel jealous. She would just go on and on like that. Even when our parents scolded her strictly, it was too late. Her personality remained the same, and her verbal abuse towards me never ceased. Growing up like that, my younger sister now calls me, You bitch. Fed up with my sister's boasting about her boyfriends, I sighed and finally spoke up. I do have a boyfriend. In fact, we're engaged. I'm looking at these bridal magazines because we're getting married soon. Upon hearing that, my sister stopped dead in her tracks. If she thinks she's seen it seriously, she'll see a grin and a sarcastic smile. Oh, really? There's someone who actually likes you? I wonder what he sees in you. He likes my cheerfulness and positivity. That sounds like a lie. He probably treats you like a housekeeper. I plan on continuing to work, so he understands I can't be the perfect housewife. Upon hearing that, my sister reacted with exaggerated surprise. Wow! You're gonna keep working even after getting married? You poor thing! You must be marrying a poor man. Her words rubbed me the wrong way. It seems she just can't help but look down on me. Money is not a problem. He's a doctor, so his income is stable. It's just that I want to keep working. When I retaliated, my sister suddenly fell silent. I sighed and went back to my room. Hmm, a doctor. I see. Without knowing that my sister was leaking a meaningless mutter.
The first thing to do once you start discussing marriage is to introduce the fiancé to your parents. And so David came to my house. The mood changed dramatically the moment my sister showed up after David had finished greeting our parents. Oh, so this is your fiancé? He's quite handsome. Sarah, I thought you were going out. If my sister's fiancé is coming over, of course I'd cancel my plans. I had been relieved that my sister was not around, even if it was just by chance. I had a bad feeling about it. In the past, when we were still students, my sister stole my boyfriends, multiple times. Once we became adults, I stopped having boyfriends, and since my sister kept having new ones one after another, such incidents no longer occurred. My little sister's return made me feel uneasy, but as expected, my little sister has become an adult. I'd like to believe she wouldn't steal my fiancé. My sister acting all chummy with my fiancé. David, my fiancé, blushing, perhaps only in my imagination. My worst fear. Can we pretend this whole marriage thing didn't happen? I've decided to break up with you and start dating Sarah came true, right on target. I never thought that even if I got old, my sister would steal my boyfriend. Sorry, I stole your fiancé. But it couldn't be helped after all. David found me cuter and more charming. He proposed so passionately. Oh, it's a sin to be cute. My sister, who was not apologizing at all, and was arrogantly looking down on me. Next to her, David, who was my former fiancé, also said while laughing, Really? I had no idea you had such a cute sister. If I knew, I wouldn't have engaged with you. It's good that we broke up before the marriage. <laughs> the moment I saw his distorted smile, all my feelings for him vanished without a trace. All that was left was a feeling of disgust. I'm also glad I didn't marry you. A man who can go to another woman so easily. I'll gift him to you, with my best regards. <laughs> Sounds like you were sorely defeated. Exactly. You're not cute till the end. <laughs> I wasn't being a sore loser. I genuinely felt this way. Apparently, the two of them in their fantasy world didn't get it. Interacting with you guys is a waste of time. Goodbye. <laughs> She's such a sore loser. We're the ones who were wasting time. We're never gonna meet again. Bye. Until the end, they looked down on me and left. After that, we never met because our furious parents banned them. But I only heard that they got married. But it doesn't matter anymore. Three years have passed since I separated from my sister and her husband. And I, now 30, am still working hard as ever. During this time, one of my clients liked my work and started requesting for me repeatedly. His name was Charles. As I talked to Charles through work, somehow he asked me out for dinner. Next, he asked me out for a date. During one of our dates, he proposed to me. To be honest, I was very happy. Charles is a very sincere person. I thought he wouldn't do anything like my ex. But, apparently... The incident with my sister had left quite a trauma in me. No way, but... I couldn't help but wonder. That's why I told him honestly, about my sister, about my ex-fiancé. I showed him my sister's photo, gouging his reaction. But his expression didn't change when he saw my sister's picture. He looked away indifferently from the photo and gave me a gentle smile. I hate to say this, but I used to be pretty popular. I've met more cute and beautiful women than your sister, but for some reason, I didn't fall in love at all. Ah, I thought I'd be single for the rest of my life without dating anyone, but I was wrong. What do you mean? I think I have a good eye for people because of my job. No matter how beautiful or well-dressed a person is, they can't beat inner beauty. That's when I realized when I met you, Amy. Um, what do you mean? I thought you shone very brightly. Eh? When we were talking about work, I thought that Amy was so bright and beautiful. You smiled happily. I could tell that you were really enjoying your time with me. I could really feel that you were really enjoying life. 
I thought you were dazzlingly beautiful. What? What? Hold on. This is super embarrassing. Despite my flustered reaction, Charles continued. Amy, you are beautiful. More beautiful and charming than anyone else. I have never met a woman as wonderful as you. I would like us to date with the intention of marriage. Truly, I really think of you as- Stop! No more. It's too embarrassing. I was blushing hard, but Charles's words didn't stop. He continued to compliment me, even after I accepted to date him. Gosh, it's too embarrassing. Charles and I got married and we happily became a couple. Our married life has been smooth and I feel like we've grown even closer than we were before the wedding. We share the household chores, doing them whenever we can. Since my husband lived alone for a long time, he might even be better at household chores than me. His cooking is the best, especially when I'm tired. On our days off, we often go out together. One such day off, we went to look at furniture as Charles had mentioned wanting to see some. And it was then that I ran into the devil from my nightmares. Oh my, I thought I spotted a plain looking woman, but it's you. I heard a voice behind me as I was looking at the bedding section. I didn't have to look to know who it was. Even though four years had passed since we last saw each other, she was unforgettable. Sarah. It was my younger sister. Next to her was my ex-fiancé, David. Sarah's face seemed to have hardened since the last time I saw her. Whether it's because of her age or her personality becoming more pronounced, I couldn't tell. David, standing beside her, was also smirking, but he seemed to have lost weight. What brings you here? Nothing much, just looking at furniture. This place has a lot of expensive imported stuff. It's not really for people like you. Her condescending attitude was as annoying as ever. David nodded in agreement. Yeah, exactly. If someone like you comes here, it'll bring down the reputation of the shop. We don't want to be mistaken for being poor. You better leave. I was annoyed by the clattering words, but it's a waste of time to deal with them, so I chose to remain silent. However, my attitude seemed to displease them, and the voices of my sister and her husband grew louder and louder. Ugh, this is terrible! A luxury store is ruined like this! Why does such a poor person even come in here? They surely can't afford anything. Yeah, yeah, the poor should just leave! As this went on, other customers and the store staff started to glance at us curiously. Exasperated, I grabbed my husband's hand, intending to leave, but he didn't move. At that moment, my sister and her husband finally noticed my husband. Hey, who are you to her? I'm Amy's husband. My sister's eyes widened in surprise. What? You married this plain girl? Really? You're brave. Did you need a maid? That's hilarious. I help with the household chores. It's normal since we both work. Oh, both working. Poor thing. You're so poor that your wife has to work too? How pitiful. Unlike you, I'm living comfortably as a stay-at-home wife. We dine out more than half the week. Since we have money, we hire housekeeping services. Sorry for being winners. My sister, who seems to be disgusted and extends the ending of her sentences in an irritating way. My frustration is growing. My sister smirked at me. Sorry for taking such a wonderful fiancé. Thanks to me, you have to keep working even after marriage and live a poor life. And with such a dull man as your partner. You two plain folks are a match. Are you envious seeing me so happy? You must be jealous, right? Ha <laughs> ha it's just like you to marry a man who can't even support his wife. Keep suffering for the rest of your life, losers. I had reached my limit. I could stand her insulting me, but I couldn't bear her speaking ill of my husband. Listen here, you better stop. Amy, it's okay. Just as I was about to shout back, my husband stepped in front of me. Nice to meet you. I'm Charles, your sister's husband. Even your name is lame. Well, thank you. Since we've met, please accept my business card. As David took the business card my husband offered, he looked at my sister. You say such rather harsh things about Amy. 
That's because it's true. I can say an ugly woman is ugly. That's my law. There's no such law. And to me, you're much uglier. What? Shall we say, the ugliness of your character? You seem confident about your appearance, but aren't you aware that your distorted personality, which only looks down on others, is showing? Despite his polite manner of speaking, his words were sharp. My sister's face gradually turned bright red. Don't joke with me! What's ugly about me? Everything. A beautiful person wouldn't be jealous of their sister and steal her fiancé. Huh? When have I ever been jealous of my sister? People tend to get close to and want to surpass those they admire. Isn't Amy such an existence for you? No, there's no way that's true. I was surprised. It was not just my husband's words, but also the way my sister reacted to them. I had never thought about it in that way. She always looked down on me. However, seeing her shaken, I started to wonder. One should simply ignore those who don't matter, those who are irrelevant. No matter who you bring along, she won't try to take him from you. After all, she didn't find him herself. Taking someone else's man implies jealousy. The resentment of someone else getting something that she couldn't have, no matter how hard she tried. So? I'm not jealous? Do you want to reassure yourself of your superiority by taking away? So, you're lacking self-confidence. A confident person wouldn't do such a thing and could live with their heads held high. No, that's not- My sister desperately tried to refute my husband's words, but her voice steadily weakened. Hey, you son of a bitch! David suddenly broke the silence, raising his voice. With a pale face, he kept switching his gaze between the business card and my husband, shaking my sister's shoulders. What on earth? What's going on? This name! I thought I'd seen it before, so I looked it up. And when I did... Ah! Huh? Charles Taylor? So what about it? It's the name of the hospital where I work. Huh? A hospital? Um, let's see. It's Taylor Medical Association. Wait. He's Dr. Taylor's son. The director and the head of the hospital. What? Are you sure? It's such a common last name. It could be someone else, right? I've seen him at the hospital with the director a few times. I'm sure it's him. I didn't recognize him because I only saw him from a distance. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. If he's the son, he must be a doctor, right? But the company name on this card. The company name. Oh! Not every son of a doctor has to be a doctor. And this company. It's a super famous pharmaceutical company. I heard the founder was elderly, and it's been handed over to his grandson. That would be me. It was my husband who lowered his head to the two people who were in upset. What? What did you just say? Ah, I'm... I'm... Seeing my sister unable to articulate her thoughts and David about to sit up, my husband quietly announced to the two of them, who had turned pale. I met my wife through my previous job before I took over my grandfather's business. I had heard about your story from her. It's far worse than I imagined. Uh, um, well, uh... My husband shifted his gaze from my flustered sister to David. A job that helps people requires empathy, yet you look down and mock people instead. Who would want to be saved by such a doctor? Uh, um... That's... a misunderstanding. David tried to explain with a pale face, but my husband, his eyes glaring, cut him off. No excuses. I'll let my father know about you. Wait for your fate. No! No! David collapsed, head bowed. My sister still stood in shock. Turning our backs to them, we left the scene. I had a feeling I would never see the two of them again. With that thought in my heart, I walked on without looking back. So what happened afterwards? David, my sister's husband, while not fired, had a significant pay cut and was removed from any responsible role. His arrogant behavior towards others had become habitual, and it seemed he was even cold towards patients. Naturally, he drew icy glares from everyone around him. 
It seems that there is space for him, and eventually, he quits a run away. Gossip spread quickly within the hospital community, and it seems he is struggling to find a new job and is leading a tough life without work. And how about my sister? It was discovered that my sister was originally a rough spender, and no matter how high her husband's salary was, their life was pretty tough. So that's why David had lost weight. It wasn't just weight loss, he was emaciated. Once David was hit with a pay cut, my sister quickly gave up on him, and seems to have divorced him. If David is no good, then she can just find the next man. She seemed to think that way, but reality was different. Both my husband and I thought, when we met her again, my sister, who used to be cute when she was young, had become quite harsh looking. It might be that her true character is finally showing. Due to that, her popularity with men had come to an end. Nobody wants to date me! My parents called me to tell me that she had come crying to my parents' house. According to my sister, I'm so cute! Why doesn't anyone lavish attention on me? And even went as far as saying, She snagged a good man! I have to be better than her! By she, she probably meant me. I wonder if it's her country's law that she has to go above me. Perhaps my sister actually looked up to me. My husband said so, and maybe that could be true, but that doesn't mean I can forgive her behavior. In the end, my sister was turned away by her parents, saying she had made her own bed and needed to lie in it. She vanished into the nightlife. I haven't heard from her since. I probably won't hear my sister's name mentioned again. On the other hand, having been freed from the curse of my sister and her husband, I was enjoying peaceful days, a calm married life, a job that I'm passionate about. It's a fulfilling time. And soon, we'll be a family of three. As I stared at the computer monitor, I gently stroked my growing belly.